In this module, we'll be discussing elbow x-rays. This includes the AP and lateral views. For the AP elbow, you'll want to have the patient sitting down in a chair next to your examination table. This exam is relatively easy, but you've got to be paying attention simply because the patient will often uh, shortchange you in trying to extend their elbow out. Sometimes when people straighten their arm out, they don't want to straighten it out completely. Our goal here is try to extend that elbow out as much as possible. Now there are times where patients can't do this and unfortunately you can't see very good images of the elbow but a way to accommodate this is to uh, have them put their humerus flat on the table and if their forearm is is uh, sticking up a little bit, then you can shoot one x-ray and then have them stand up a little bit and put their forearm down on the table and shoot another examination that way. So you're kind of getting a combination of pictures. But ideally, this is what you're trying to do. You want to put a cassette on the table. You're 40 inches from the, from the cassette itself. And this is tabletop. And you're going to extend that elbow out as much as possible, palm face up, hyper rotated even just a little bit you can see where even the technologist put a pillow under one side of the palm uh, one side of the hand so that they're encouraged to hyper rotate their arm just a little bit to get a good AP and uh, then of course we've got our crosshairs that are directed di uh, straight into the bend of the arm or the bend of the elbow uh, so that you'll have a good AP position here a technique for this tabletop would be 2.5 at 60 kvp. Then for an anatomical evaluation of the x-ray film, we've got an AP view here. You can see on the inside of the bone, you, you've got a uh, what we affectionately refer to as the funny bone. And that is the uh, condyle of the distal humerus. I use that as a benchmark because, you know, when you're grabbing your elbow and you feel those two bony protuberances on the outside, your funny bone is one of them, and then you can feel another protuberance opposite of the funny bone, and these help us to indicate whether or not a film is a, a patient is in good position or not. As to the two films on, the, on both sides, see in the middle here you can see the, the uh, protuberances but you also see the patterns in the bone. You can tell if there's any type of small nuance. The doctor has got to see these patterns to adequately diagnose a patient. If you've got your films either too dark or too light, it severely impairs their ability to make diagnoses. Here's the condyles once again. As you can see them off to the sides, they're very obvious You know when you're trying to palpate the elbow for these. For the lateral elbow, speaking of, you got your condyles. They're going to be in perfect profile of one another. This can be a challenging to film if you have an uncooperative patient. The goal here is ideally we can have a, a tabletop that is much higher than the patient, but most of the time this is not the case. Most of the time the table is somewhat lower than the patient's shoulder. So a way to combat that is to have the patient sit down and then extend their humerus, their arm, uh, further out onto the table so they're almost reaching out to the cassette. That way you'll get them nice and flat and you'll be able to get a good profile of the elbow. See how she has her hand here? She's got her hand in what we call karate chop position. You, ha In order to do a lateral you have got to have the hand in this position. If you turn the hand it's going to rotate the arm and it's going to compromise your lateral projection. It won't be a true lateral. Uh, again, we're at uh, 40 inches tabletop. You've got your patient extended out as much as possible. It, it, in the end, it would be nice to have a, a 90 degree flexion here so that you can have uh, the lateral of the um, uh, joint itself in profile. A technique we're shooting for is 2.5 mass at 60 kvp. Now, there's an option here. Uh, I've elected to uh, use myself as an example. Just kidding, that's not me. But if you have um, uh, someone who's uh, unable to extend their arm out uh, and bend it off to the side, some, sometimes folks have an issue with that. You can raise their arm above their head as if they're making a muscle and you can shoot their elbow this way. 
So I'm simply making the point that you can you can raise the elbow up, and if you, let's just say you're at the upright bucky, you can have them step off to the side just a little bit and have them get in position like this, make a muscle for you, and shoot their elbow in profile uh, up against the upright bucky. You can see here that this can be applied for the wrist and the forearm as well. Most of the, uh, the time that's unusual and you can acquire those in the, in the uh, traditional sense, but the elbow, occasionally you're going to have to use this position to achieve it. One thing to remember, the reason you can do this is that x-rays are one-dimensional. If you shoot uh, an elbow from this direction or if you have them turn their arm and shoot it from another direction, it all looks the same because it's one-dimensional. We're seeing a, a, a uh, humerus or a bone pancaked into a one-dimensional image, so uh, either way you can achieve it is uh, optimal for your patient. Here's a view of the lateral position. You can see again, we've got the funny bone and the other condyle uh, overlapping one another and they form a perfect circle here in the middle. And then of course, uh, you've got a hinge joint on the elbow, the electron of the uh, radius comes over and kind of grabs a hold of uh, the center part of the humerus. So it makes a very attractive joint from the side. This is almost a near perfect elbow uh, seen in profile. Once again, I'm sure you get the idea that if you burn these out, you need to see the, uh, the bone patterns. And if you burn them out or underpenetrate them, it impairs the radiologist's ability to see diagnoses. This concludes our review of elbow x-rays.